Today, we're going to use magic to turn Daisy into a princess. going to show you how to recreate the frozen hairstyle from Elsa when she's Elsa. before she goes awesome with her magic. This is the coronation hairstyle. So um, this is a really soft, airy, like a French twist type of thing. And there's going to be two French twists. There's one that's coming away from the face this way and then the rest of it's going over this way. And the best way to probably do this would be like the most professional way would probably be to wet set this, but that takes a really long time and it's not my favorite thing to do unless I am really doing it for like stage or something. So if you're just trying to do this for fun, I'm gonna start with dry clean hair. So for today, you're going to need a curling iron. This one I think is a one and a fourth inch. You're going to need some hair pins or bobby pins and try to get them as close to the hair color as you can. I'm using the White Sands Liquid Texture Firm Hold Spray and a rat tail comb and then a brush. And I have a really small brush that's really good for um, back combing the hair. Now if you have bangs, you can leave some awesome bangs out and have it be exactly like the real hairstyle. But she doesn't really have bangs, so we're just combing all of this section back into the side. And then I'm going to take either my rat tail comb or my finger and just kind of draw like a half circle around her head. And then pull all of this hair back. So the section will come right here. All of this will be left out. And then you'll have this line. And just try to clean it up a little bit. You do want this to be a pretty clean line to the back. And then check your thickness. You want a good amount of hair up here because it needs to be pretty full. And she doesn't even have a ton of hair, but we can still make it look like it because of the way that we're going to style with the, the White Sands Texture Spray and the curling iron. So I'm going to take this whole section of hair and just clip it down for now. And now we're going to start up here in this section and everything is going to be curled away from the face and then it's going to be set with the bobby pins to hold the curl. So the way that this works, the way that hair works, when it gets heated up, it resets the, the SNH bonds. And in order for the curl to stay, you need it to cool in the pattern that you want the hair to stay in. And I have a Marcel. You can use a regular curling iron too. I just got used to this in hair school. And I'm curling it away from the face at a slight angle and just let it get a little toasty. You don't want to burn it off or anything. So be careful, especially if you have really light thin hair like Sweet Daisy does. And then it will pretty much stay like that, but just to make sure it doesn't move anymore, I'm just going to stick a bobby pin in there. And we're going to go through this whole section and do that all the way along to the back taking probably one, one and a half to two inch sections. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick really quick. This just helps protect the head. So the reason why I like using the Marcel for stuff like this is it can make it look like it's in a roller set because you can flip that end underneath and then like feed it through. And then if you take a comb, you can stick it right against the head and then you can rest the curling iron on the comb for a few seconds. And that just gets your curl really nice and tight into the head and also protects your client from burns. So that's a fun little trick. All right. Okay, so now we have this whole section that we had left out. We're going to curl all of that this way in sections taken like this, like a big 
diagonal. And so I'm going to over direct it all the way over to here and this is where the curl is going to lay. So I'm still going to spray the entire section with the liquid texture. And I'm even going to comb it over just to make it kind of glue together a little bit. And that's okay because when this is all set up, we're going to comb it out just like if it were a wet set. So it's okay to get it pretty, pretty crispy right now. sure that it's cool to the touch. Let it cool, let it cool, let the, <laughs> is that silly? <laughs> what does she really say? Let it go. Let it go, right. <laughs> We're gonna let it cool. And then as soon as it's nice and cool, you can take all the bobby pins out. And this is fun, because you're kind of just destroying all the work you just did. I'm just kidding, you're not. But you don't have to worry about the curls anymore. You're going to comb them out in a second. So all the body pins need to be pulled out. And you're going to comb all of these sections in the front, the front section that comes forward. You're going to comb all of those together and just kind of blend them together. All right. And then you're going to go through. Try to keep these out of the way. <clears throat> okay, look up. We're going to go through and we're just going to slightly brush them like this together. And it's like back combing, but it's with this soft brush, so it's a little bit lighter. And it just makes all of the hair blend into one section. And then you can still have this really pretty airy texture. And that's how we're gonna get that beautiful, smooth texture throughout it. So it's not just like a twist that you're like blobbing the hair and twisting it down tight to the head, because that's really not what the look is in the, the Disney video. So, so you're going to go through, and I like to do all of the back combing on the inside because then when you flip this over, hold on, sweetheart, look straight. When you flip this over, you can still smooth it down and have, and you won't see all the, the rat, the ratting together. Okay, so now that you have this, you're going to very gently twist it and make a French twist. I was about to say French twist. Yeah. I, I, did, I didn't forget. So, just adding in hair as you twist the hair really softly. And you want to keep this nice and loose. Because of the way we styled the hair with the, um, the setting spray and the curling iron, it should hold its shape pretty well. Okay, so now I'm going to anchor this down with a bobby pin. So now we're going to take this top section and we're going to French twist it, comb it all over. Use your fingers to kind of comb it, Sorry. softly comb it and to get those high and low spots. And then you're just going to French twist it down in the back. And there's going to be a little bit of a valley right here, but that's it's okay, it looks pretty with the hairstyle, so. Are you liking this? Stick it in a ponytail. So now we have the back twisted back into this ponytail. And I just will take the brush and I'm just going to back comb just to make this piece of hair look really full and thick. And then we're gonna take a blue ribbon or a string or whatever you can find that's this like cool snow blue. And I'm gonna tuck it underneath the elastic. And then wrap it around the hair. Let's 
scared me. Did it scare you? Yes. All right, now this is just going to turn into a bun. So we we'll just turn it around, and then we're going to pin this bottom part in with bobby pins. Look down all the way to the ground. There we go. And pin that in with hair pins around the edges. We'll spray it one last time. Does he look in the mirror? Keeping that body right in the front. And just shape out those pieces in the back and make it really pretty. Okay, and that is our frozen recreation on Daisy, the Princess Daisy. Okay, look down so they can see. And it's just really elegant and soft. You could do this for anything. This could just be really pretty on a bride even, well maybe without the ribbon. Yeah, you can put snowflakes throughout it if you have little plastic snowflake clips or something. And that's, that's our recreation and we had a lot of fun doing it and I hope you guys like it. What was your favorite part of the movie? Do you know what my favorite part was? What? When Elsa goes like this when she's singing the Let It Go song and she goes like this to her yeah, hair. that's my favorite part. And changes it into the braid. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Do you want to change it into the braid with magic? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, Daisy, you are magic. I love it. Have fun. So that was my favorite part of the movie. Please let me know what your favorite part or your favorite character was. Comment below and let us know how you guys liked it. Okay, see you later. Bye.